All right, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Rejuvenation. Um, today we're starting off here on Evergreen Island. Uh, if you remember when we last did the dive episode, um, in the previous dive episode, we uh, dove and we found a hidden submarine. And we were asked to deal with the pillars, but we couldn't interact with them. Um, so the, what changed now is that we can interact with the pillars now. Uh, and we have the enigmatic key that um, we got from opening the gate, right? All the way at Ecclesia Pyramid. So technically, once you have the enigmatic key, you can leave the pyramid and do this uh, do this quest right away. Um, or you could finish Ecclesia first, then do it. Uh, so we can activate these panels and we need to activate them from tallest to shortest. So the tallest one is right there. Um, the next ones are down here. I believe it is this one. Then, uh, this one. And then this one. So yeah, a door opened up somewhere. And if we explore just a little bit, um, come over this way, you'll find that this door is now opened up. Now, we can try to go in but uh we should report back to the person on the submarine it says so that's what we're gonna do the submarine lady is just over here um okay so here we go what was that rumbling before you've done it haven't you oh i see that door by the northern part yep it opened up sounds good see you there um, so I'm just actually going to fly back uh, to Evergreen instead of surfing back. Makes it a bit easier. But yeah, you can go ahead and just dive in here and it's just right here. Um, you'll see the sub right there. Yeah, go ahead and walk in and you'll see uh, more Ecclesia tech is what is in here. Hey, don't run off without me. Hello there. Ah, you've done it. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Thank you for helping me out. The name's Jolene. I'm the owner of Gear and News. So we've seen Jolene before a little bit when she was doing uh, news reports. Um, as well as the lovely and beautiful mother of the ex-electric type leader, Volta. Also an honorary member of the Elite Eight. Uh, so she's kind of like Tesla in that sense. Look at you, cute as a button. Surprise, are ya? Uh-huh. Oh wait, no, sorry. Volta's the one on the news. Uh, Jolene is Volta's mom. Sorry, I got them mixed up. I keep thinking they're the same person since the first time the uh, this side quest started. Um, but yeah. Uh huh. I was told by a certain someone that the Spring of Preservation was managed. Yeah. Uh huh. So the Spring of Rejuvenation was managed by the underground one here. So Ecclesia Pyramid has its system manage on top of the pyramid, right? Um, the Spring of Rejuvenation. Uh-huh. Yep. All right. Sounds good. So uh, just be ready for a fight. Darn it, I have a feeling we're not alone all the way down here. Uh-huh. Intruder alert. Hello there. So yes, uh... We have more of these things to deal with. Uh huh. I'd like to see if my hunch was true. They usually are. Sure, Jolene. Defense mechanism. So Gorlick and Magneton. Uh, so they are stronger. If you look at their um. Yeah. If, if you look at their levels, you can easily see that they are way higher level than you would expect. Um. Zap Cannon Mist, which is perfect for us. This should be enough. Nice. There we go. I must say, that show was mighty impressive. Uh, are you taking part in the Avium Lee Challenge? Yep, got 15... 14? 14, 15? Uh-huh. Just call Miss Jolene, you hear? Uh-huh, thanks. I guess. Uh, she definitely gives off like a friendly grandma vibe, but... I'm not sure if I should say that in front of her face. Um, anyways. Uh. Yeah, we have a couple more of those things to deal with, for sure. Really, Dundine, actually. Um, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, jump on over and uh, another one over there. So this time we have clay dolls. Uh, these clay dolls are steel psychic. Um, and one thing they love to do is set up screens, which is really annoying. There's the screens. Yep. So yeah, that is something that it does fairly often. Kind of annoying, but you can deal with it kind of okay. Uh, I am going to switch out here because it's going to use an electric type move on me for sure. Heat wave into aura sphere should be plenty. Ah, not quite. Okay, there we go. So that's one down, and there's one more, and this is the last one, so... No, not too many issues. Oh, this is these two, okay. Well, that's fine, we can still ceaseless edge the goal lurk here. Trick room's annoying for sure. Um, there we go. Alright, uh, I think that was the last one. Yep, so that's the last one. Uh, so you don't need to use a healing item. Yep, there it is. Can you see it? All the way back there. That beam of light. It's what gives the spring power. It's a little bit disappointing, ain't it? The mystical and supernatural vibe it gave off was just captivating. Only to find out it's powered through some complex system. But now that I know that it's true, that's all I need. So this really is a thing then. Goodness, I don't know how to feel. Oh, Jolene, that's what you get for doubting people. Now you look like a big old fool. Alright, that's all I wanted to confirm, so I guess I'll be heading out. Darling, why are you looking at me like that? Are you confused or something? Don't worry yourself over all this. I had no intention of doing anything here, I assure you. Now that I know this place exists, I feel like I'm obligated to protect it. What if someone just tries to waltz up here and disrupt that precious beam of light? That just wouldn't do, would it? No, no, if that beam of light is interrupted, I reckon the place would be all dried up and sorry looking. The Pokemon that live there would be without a home. Jolene, Jolene, you need to learn when to stop talking. I'm so sorry, sugar. I can talk and talk for ages, never getting anywhere. Here's a little something for your troubles. So you get an Empoleon Crest. I like to use Electric type. Yep, sounds good. See ya, Jolene. So, Empoleon Crest. Uh... Ice type moves are boosted by 50% and speed is doubled in hail and on ice field. So you basically get slush rush and stab on ice type moves. So it's really solid uh, for any if you enjoy using Empoleon. Uh, with the recent change to it getting competitive instead of defiant, there goes a sub. Uh, but yeah, with its change to getting competitive instead of defiant, it's actually quite, it's actually not bad for sure. Um, but that's the first quest down. That was a relatively short one. Uh, but now we'll have to do the two longer ones. Um, so the first one we're going to do is the continuation of Narcissa's side quest. Uh, so you can go ahead and come in here. And if you remember this room right here, was there was an empty time crystal. So you can just come in here. And hello, adult Narcissa. Yeah, welcome back to... Uh, Welcome back to the present, I guess. Um, we're on Route 9. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chandelier just kind of vanished after you disappeared. Uh-huh. So yeah, the Cliffside Grave, we've already been there. Uh, we actually found Chandelier's, uh, kid, with the Litwick. Um, it's still in my box at level 1. Uh, but yep, we've already been there, so we can just say yes and, um, go with Narcissa. So for this quest and the next quest, I probably won't read all the dialogue. Uh, there's just so much of it. Um, and I don't want to, like, destroy my throat, so. Chandelier, Shandy, please come back. Mama's here for you. Yeah, uh, it's gone. It's gone, Narcissa. Uh-huh. At the Lost Tower, yep, the old chandelier. Yeah, um, we found its kid. Do you want it? Like, I mean, I'm keeping it, but yeah. Uh-huh, chandelier now is a gift from my husband, Sirius. Yeah, let's go to Fajal Cave. You have a younger you. Yeah, uh, there's a younger you here. 
Uh huh. Yep. So yeah, you should just accept the fast travels, make it a bit easier. Yeah. Uh huh. So Narcissa one, I believe, is the older one, and Narcissa two is the younger one. Uh huh. Oh, sorry. Narcissa one is younger. Narcissa two is older. Narcy, there we go. Yeah, so now now we get actual like different names. For Narcissa is now older and Narcy is the little one. Yeah, Mosley. Anyways, um do fall, yep. Yeah, uh Hello there, Dufal. Yeah, uh... Yeah, so Dufal is now uh, going to disappear. And we need to figure out where, uh, where Dufal went. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he wouldn't be the power plant twice. Alright, um... And Narcissa is getting uh, the time weirdness thing, because there's two Narcissas, and there can't be two Narcissas um, in the time. So, I'll just go in here. Hello, Narcy. Uh-huh. A slight headache, huh? I mean, you're, you need a time amulet, which... Do we still have our time amulet from the hags? Maybe. Uh-huh. Yep. Wispy Tower first opened. This is a picture of a much older, an older version of Golden Leaf Town. Yep, he's gone. He's been gone for a while. Uh, Gregory, my husband's apprentice. We also know him by a different name, Gera. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And Narcissa's gone again. Yep. Yeah, Wispy Tower's to the left, uh, over there. So we'll go join her. Um, you can just fly over, I believe. Yeah, no need to walk over if you don't want to. Hey, Narcissa. Or Narcy, I guess. So just come down here. You'll go down to the Forsaken Laboratory, over to this side. Hello. Yep, Biology of Ghost Pokemon. Giratina. Yep. Yeah, so she does have a frillish. Uh-huh. Den of Souls. Okay. Oh, there we go. So we don't have context for why it's called Den of Souls yet. We will soon, actually. Uh, it's completely untouched. Yep, looks like it's been cleaned recently. Being maintained by someone. Interview. Uh, you want to play that? Sure. I don't understand why you have to marry her. If you just wanted to build your base here, you should have just wiped out the entire town. Sleight of hand, my child. Sleight of hand. Do you honestly believe an entire town off the map would be easier? No, that would make things infinitely more difficult. In fact, it would make things impossible. Marrying Narcissa was the correct decision. It's less troublesome. Perhaps for you, but I can't stand living with her. She's inferior. We've done well on our own so far, haven't we? When I found you as a baby all those years ago, I didn't think you'd be this chatty. I only speak when I need to. And right now I get a feeling I need to, but I know you. You're already settled in. You've always been like that. Stubborn. Like father, like son. I just hate it when you keep secrets from me. I am your son, yeah, but we're also business partners. I'm just as important as you in this equation. 
And so we get a name, Vitus. So this is the same Vitus, Indriad. Uh, some, probably some other names. Uh, the Maria's dad. And by extension, that whole family. It has exceeded my expectations. E exceeded? You're not being a wise guy, right? The amount of spectral energy here is astounding. And the ruins recently dug up north of here have confirmed it. Where we stand used to be the kingdom of Gorora. The kingdom of Gorora. The queen residing here was none other than Griselda. A cunning and tactical leader. Too bad she let her guard down. No one is to be trusted. Not even family. Do you understand me, Gregory? Does that include you? We'll see. Huh. Fine, we're in this glorious kingdom. Now what? We find Griselda. Once we do, we'll proceed on to step two. Things are finally getting interesting. Yep, indeed he did. Uh, so she's gone. Uh, we'll just follow her all the way back to Golden Leaf. A little bit of running around. A lot of lore building is mostly what this quest is about, um, which is nice. I really like the lore building. We get to see more of Vitus slash Indriad and all that. Um, Narcissa, are you here? Uh, she, it's, it's long past, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, indeed it didn't. Uh-huh. And she's off to the tower up north. Uh, hey, Narcissa. Uh-huh. No idea, but yeah, the power plant can probably figure that out. Yep, we can go with you. So yeah, just come over and just talk here. Hi. Uh, oh, okay. Electrical levels. Three places above normal levels. One reading is on Route 3. That level is steadily decreasing over time. So that's in Fajal Cave. Yep. Somewhere underneath Grand Dream City. Uh, huh. So something's going on in Grand Dream City, but we kind of already knew that. Deep in Forlorn Cave Route 9. That was uh, where Dufal was. Alright, sounds good. So here's Route 9. So yeah, we'll follow it over. So yeah, now this time Crystal is now finally activated. And we have traveled through time. Yes, indeed, we did. Uh-huh. Yep, looks like it. So we can't go in. The safe is locked. Um, And so it looks like everything, but back here is actually a lever. And we'll just follow uh, Narcissa around. Um, So this is the mansion. The abandoned mansion, or the dark light mansion, before it fell into ruins. Yep. We do have the key to this door. Uh, so you had to go through the whole um, puzzle in dark light manner to get this key. But yeah. There we go. You can also just like walk around here, but most of the doors are locked. Um the front door you can't go out the front door and this is back in Hiyoshi city so that's pretty cool um but yeah we'll come back here uh-huh Elter Celestia Elter Cel Elter uh is this what you truly want yes this is what i truly want please know that my procedure is permanent no amount of therapy will restore what you have lost. That is, if you follow my instructions very clearly. I I understand. Good, then let me begin. 
Yeah, you collapsed, Narcy. Yep. Celestia Altair. Yeah, and so... Yeah. Yeah, so they have some memory shenanigans. Mm-hmm. My name is Dr. Isaiah Halvard. So this is Isaiah. This is original Isaiah before he became Isha. I want to forget that incident. I don't want to remember her anymore. I, I can't live with that memory. Uh-huh. So yeah, getting her, her memory erased. Uh-huh. All three doses must be taken one week apart. Uh-huh. At the mansion, but in this current time. Yep, Darklight Manor. So yeah, uh, we're ready. We can just go there. Here we go, Darklight Manor. There it is. So don't let it escape. Uh, so yeah, we can just uh, climb over here. Yep. A Frostless doll, an old photograph, and a vial of Zalavin 352. So Narcissa didn't completely drink all of the... Uh... Yep, she didn't take all three doses. An old picture. There it is, Narcissa. Altair family. Loria Altair, Henry Altair, Celestia Altair, and Narcissa Altair. So yeah, uh, she used to be an Altair. Mm hmm Yep. All right, so uh, let's head on over the backyard well. So you'll just come out up back here. Uh, grab the uh, rift here. So Dufa is a rift Pokemon. Code Remembrance, Temporal Shift is its ability. Um, I don't quite remember what it does. Let me double check. Um, okay. Yeah, so Temporal Shift is oh, an ability that basically ignores stat drops. Uh, when, when it says ignore stat drops, it just means that its stats can't be lowered, so it has clear body. Um, and additionally... Uh, every three turns, your Pokemon is automatically damaged by Hex. Uh, this is important because it does like to paralyze you or burn you quite often, uh, which is annoying, but yeah. Uh, so you do want to make sure that your team is ready for this. Um, I believe it is level 90? One second. Yeah, it is set to be level 90. Um, has three shields, so kind of annoying, but yeah. Uh, I'm gonna just start with Undyne and we'll see what happens. Yeah, and then we'll see what happens from there. Okay. Um, yeah. This is it. Let's begin. Allow me to do it. This doll. It's the one Celestia owned. Everyone, get ready. So, you finally found me. 
all of you gathered here to place where it all began. In that case, I believe that means you are aware of who I am. I've read the journal entries my family left behind. Your family? Oh, I, I see. Yes, my family. I remember who I am now, or rather who I once was. We are Narcissa Altair. <laughs> Interesting. As for you... Light was your name, right? You were the being residing within the doll that our grandmother gave to my twin sister, Celestia. Almost right. When Celestia fell down the well, it was your body that electrocuted her. You were an angry spirit who regrets what they've accidentally done. But you don't have to be. We're here for you, to fall. No, not to fall. Light, we're here for you. Enough. It is clear to me that you all don't know a thing. No matter how hard I try, you just won't remember. Why do you continue to insist on forgetting me? I won't allow it. I won't let you. Let me jog your memory. So yeah, uh, Grandmother, we cannot... I miss Alicia too, but... To bring her back from the dead, what consequences will that bring? To consequences born from this revival? It matters not. We are members of the esteemed Altair family. We stand tall beside the Theolias and the Black Curies. Those Black Curies. I know they were the one that planted that monster inside that doll. They've always wanted us gone, but we never gave in until now. Imagine what would happen to our name once news of Celestia's death comes forward. So what you're saying is that this isn't about Celestia? You care more about the status of a putrid name over your own granddaughter? Of course not. I love Celestia. I love her more than anyone. But we all die. Eventually, I will die and one day you will. Your mother, father, your spouse, your children. The only thing that lasts is the family name. We bring our memories into an immortal plane for all eternity. I cannot allow things to end here. Not with a sheep cowardly act by the Blake Curies. Just stand there, my child. Let me do the work. Grandmother. Yeah, the roof and magic. What have you done to me? Yeah, so, uh... She revived. Celestia revived. Not the way she wanted. I can't see. Lord Eltair. She tried to bring her dread granddaughter back to Earth. Little did she know there was a being within the Clefairy doll that killed me. Light also perished. So when she cast the spell, spell both of our souls reemerged from the well and morphed into one being. She imprisoned me to the bottom of the well. And you, Narcissa, my darling sister, decided that my memory was too much to bear. You wanted to get rid of me. I've suffered a fate worse than death, complete annihilation. Yeah, uh, the seal Aurea place was broken and the third dosage was never taken. I am light. I am Celestia. I am not forgotten. Celestia, I never meant for you to feel this way. We wanted you to rest in peace, but that's not how it ended up. None of it matters anymore. My goal is decided. I took your chandelier many years ago, and this time I'll take something even more greater. Narcy, get it together. No matter who Dufal really is, we have a duty to end this. Yep. S sounds good. So yeah, we are fighting uh, with... Um, we are fighting with... Uh, uh, what's her name? Narcissa. Uh, it is Electric Fairy, uh, which is not a great matchup for me, but it's fine. That's fine. Light screen would hurt. Be nice. So yeah, discharge is gonna hurt me. That's fine. Psychic. Um. I wanna save Boomy for later, so I'm gonna go to Mick first. I'm gonna coil. I think that's probably fine. That gives me a uh, an accuracy boost. And Gunk Shot should now at least be relatively uh, safe here. Nice. Recovered from its status. Clear stat drops. Boosting its defenses. There goes Moonblast. Special attack roll, but that's fine. 
Oof. Rip Mimikyu. Okay. We keep gong shotting. Tailwind is nice, I guess, but Mick is not the fastest thing in the world, regardless. There's Hex again. Moonblast onto Drift Blim. Nice. Okay. So once two shields is down, Dufal basically gets a uh, gets a gets a form change into this. Um, I am going to coil. Oh, that's actually a bad idea. I might full restore. I think I'm gonna use one full restore here. Yeah, I'm gonna use one full restore here. Um, I'm okay with that. So it did do a type change, so it's now electric ice. Uh, so it's no longer fairy, so gunk shot is not going to do as much uh, now, but that's okay. Um, oh, oh wait, I survived that? Okay, that's fine. I'm going to go down to heal. i um, going to go to coal here. Um... Bullet Punch should do okay. I'm going to Sword Stance first, though. Hopefully I don't get KO'd instantly. Nice. Okay. Bullet Punch should do good here. Oh, not quite enough. Oh, Dust Club gets paralyzed. Um. Okay, go to Gina here. I want to get a Cellar Rock up. Nice. Okay. Cleared itself off stat drops. There we go. Um, okay, go to Boomy here, Boomy and Jinx. Uh, it is at plus one defenses. I think I want a Flare Blitz. Hopefully I don't go... Oh, wow, I do go down in one hit. That's not great. Oh, we were so close. I think we need Light Screen for sure then. Um, yeah, Blizzard is going to one hit KO me, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, good to know. All right. Uh, let's try that again. Wow, okay. That was... that's new. The fact that it just gets one hit KO'd instantly. Double crits? Okay. If, if this is the run, I'm gonna be very surprised, honestly. Okay, that's one down. Might grab Toxic on someone, actually. Um, Because it doesn't... Yeah, it's four more turns of Safeguard, but after that, you can actually status it, and it will actually stay. Ah, there's the Paralysis. Do I bother... I don't think I bother with that. Yeah, that's fine. It's gonna discharge and that's gonna KO me. Um, I need light screen up for sure. Please KO. I mean not KO, poison. Nope, okay. Two more turns of safeguard. Yep, that's gonna KO me. That's a double KO. Okay, let's go to coal here. We're going to try to get light screen up. Mm, I'm going to drop Tailwind too, if I can. Nice. Okay. Please, actually. Ah. Uh, that sucks. Okay. Um. My hope is that Flare Blitz from Boomy would actually be enough here. Nice. And we hit twice, right? Okay, that did not do as much as I was hoping. That's fine. Oh, come on, Dust Clops. Okay. Uh, Gina. We just need Stone Edge to hit here. Nice. I think we get one more turn of Tailwind, right? Yes, okay, this is the last turn. 
Oh, please be enough here. Yes. Oh. Oh, that came down to the wire. Because, uh, yeah, Rose Raid is just not that great in this fight. It gets outsped by Blizzard. And I guess Aura Sphere could be an option. Um, oh. Huh. Huh. It always turns out this way in the end. Why is this world so hell-bent on erasing me? What have I done to deserve this? Celestia, we didn't mean to cause you any more harm. We just wanted all this to stop. But in doing that, we've caused you an amount of grief we never would have imagined. But it's all over now. Let, th let us put you to sleep one final time. You won't be hurt anymore. Celestia. I refuse. Uh, it doesn't matter anymore. My soul can never be put to rest. The Blakeyeries, the Theolias, the Altairs, all three are nothing but corrupt, rich families that put their status above themselves. The constant bickering and feuds between them caused this. I cannot say what will or has happened to the Theolias or Blakeyeries, but he do have the power to eliminate one tarnished name. Uh, you two are from, you two are two Narcissas in the same time. That's what's happening. We're knocked out, by the way. Yeah. Um. Celestia, please stop. You should be happy. You're getting a peaceful death. And that's something most people wish for. <laughs> Aren't I a thoughtful sister? Uh, that noise? Hello, Chandelier. So yeah, uh, Chandelier's Pokedex entry. It burns away souls. And our Celestia is literally a soul. Yeah, uh... I don't know if that's the right call, the chandelier, but I guess it's gonna save Narcissa. You all, you all didn't love me, right? That's why you chose to forget me. Grandmother only wanted me back because my death was an embarrassment. No, Celestia. What happened to you? What happened to you was tragic. What I what I chose to do was worse. The truest death is when you die and no one remembers you. The best thing for someone to do when they pass is to keep their memory alive. That's what I should have done with you. Do you really mean that, Narcissa? I do. I promise I'll never forget you. So that's, that's it then. Suddenly all that rage just went away. I think I'm ready to sleep now. Good night, Celestia. Sweet dreams. And rest in peace. Yep, I'm good. I got knocked out, but I'm good. Yep, uh, Narcy, you're gonna have to, uh, you're gonna have to go back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The third serum. Yeah, so Narcy is going to forget and uh, grow up to be the Narcissa of today. Uh-huh. No problem. Glad to help. And she's gone. And now we have the statue of Celestia Altair. May she rest in peace. You know, I've realized something over these past few days. A lot of my biggest trials in life involved being stuck in the past. When you got here, when you first got here so long ago, this place was much different. You've helped me all the way back then too. Do you think Celestia is happy? Uh-huh. I think, I think I'm going to leave for a while. Uh-huh. Alright, sounds good. So yeah, S Spectre will still be around. A strange noise at the top of Lost Castle. 
Yeah, so we can go to the top of Lost Castle now and figure that out. Um, your Pokemon are healed for you, which is nice. Uh, but we're going to head straight there. So head on over, up to the top we go. Yeah, you don't have to re-battle the things, I don't think. Yeah. And you'll find a Rotom. So you can now catch a Rotom for yourself. Uh, if you so choose. Um... I think Gina is actually fine here. A Silver Rock, I don't think will KO. Oh, actually, it might. It's level 50. Oh, substitute. Okay. I mean, that will. That will at least lower its um, health for me. Oh, it gets an Omni Boost. That's fine. Annoying, but fine. Nice, okay. So, yep, there we go. That's a Rotom captured. So, that'll be it for this quest. Um, Actually, we can just fly from here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fly, and we're going to head to Grand Dream City. Uh, Head to the Central Square, and we're going to continue uh, Anna's quest, the Missing Children quest, all the way in the underground. Uh, so we'll just head straight there. All you want to do is head in here. Actually, I'm going to buy some more um, items first real quick. Um, Ultra Balls, there it is. Okay. Oh, actually, there's one thing that you can do uh, after the Narcissa quest. Um, head to West Gearin. And head up to the power plant. If you talk to uh, Gabriel over here. Yep. Rotom and Frostlass. Yeah. So you can follow him over here. And in here are the appliances. And we also got the uh, a stamp for the mall. Um, so yeah, if, you, if you come here with Rotom, you can uh, interact with these different things. And turn it into different appliances. Uh, so that's an option. Um, and you probably should. Rotom by itself is not the strongest Pokemon in the world. Uh, okay, now we can continue. Um, with one more stamp, though, you you do have now have greater access. Uh, I believe you now have access to the top... Which one is it? No, not this one. Yeah, this one. Um... Yeah, this one doesn't have anything because that's the TMs. Uh, yeah, this is the last um, one. But here you can now buy a bunch of uh, e evolution items. Um, prism scales for your Milotics, upgrades for your Porygons, Deep Sea Tooth, Deep Sea Scales, Electrizers, Magmarizers, all that. Um, instead of having to uh, donate Pokemon, uh, that is now an option. Anyways, without further ado, we'll go ahead and head down here and head into Dylan's house and continue the side quest of the uh, children underground, specifically Anna. Um, so this will be fun. Let's go ahead and go in. Right before the explosion of the Grand Dream Box. So this brings us a bit into the past. Uh, we're going to assume that we were here for that. Hey, and what do you want for dinner? Uh, cereal, huh? Okay. And there's the explosion. Troubling news. The Blade Star caused a massive explosion at the Grand Dream Ball. Casualties are expected to be high. What the hell? Oh, your sister's at the party. Um, well, that's unfortunate. Um... Not at the party, but we are about to get, uh, let's see, uh, we are at the tournament. Um, uh-huh, yeah, so we, um, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm doing fine, kind of. Mierda. Get a bitch engineer without a planet. Yeah, um, yeah. 
hi, I'm back. Uh, we're okay. Yep, we're safe. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's my bad. Mm-hmm. Oh, really, Dylan? Well, I'm glad, uh... I'm, I'm glad you worry about me, Dylan. Uh-huh. So, Peony has now adopted... Okay. District of Hope. Okay, sounds good. Uh, I can do that. So yeah, this takes us directly to here. Um, we can just go in and interact with Sienna. Hey, Sienna. So this is Anna. Don't worry about the sunglasses. Yep. Death is a terrible thing. The end of a living life, the absence of consciousness. Uh-huh. Everything has an end. Every not, But not everything dies like the same way. Sixty five percent lost data recovered. Uh huh. Is that a coffin? Well, yeah, looks like it. Uh huh. So yeah, we'll have to make our way to Pokemon Pinnacle. Um, you might have already done so, uh, but that's just in here. Hi, yep. So we get to fight with Anna if you haven't fought the trainers in here yet, I believe. Oh wait, I haven't yet. Okay. I thought I have. I mean, that's fine. We'll just don't edge. They're not particularly strong. Um, I don't have a great option for this thing, do I? I mean, it's for sure not Gina. Superpower, that's gonna hurt. Okay. I should probably... Oh. Yeah, so I'm... Let's make our way up. Uh, shock ice cream. No, that's fine. That's good enough. Uh, we also need to give a citrus berry back to Cole there. So yeah, there's a Pokemon here. Uh, there's a bunch of Pokemon here for sure. There's also a lot of, uh, you know, just people grieving. Yep. Shed ninjas. Level 1 shed ninjas. Um, please let me get out of here. There's also a Team Zen member here. Hello. Uh-huh. Sorry to hear that. I'll let you grief, uh, grieve in peace. What do you mean I have no right to be here? CNA invited me. Anyway, die. Trucodile. Uh, we do not win this. Earthquake. That's gonna hurt. That was even a crit. There we go. Um... Maybe berry, berry, not berry juice. Okay. So there's also some blade star here, but uh. CN is awaiting us. Sure. This must be the bell. Yes. The bell I constructed out of sacred steel. Uh-huh. Send their spirits home, Anna. And I faint. Um, so yeah, uh, we're in a 1v2 here. Now, it is possible to win this. Um, I 
think. Actually, I, I'm actually not sure. Uh, of course, Drillbur is the main thing that you need to like take care of. Um, there we go. And one last one. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we won. Maggie, we won. Be wise, young one. Death knocks at unexpected doors. Return once you came or suffer the consequences. Shut up, you old. Uh, yes. Merciless trainer who stole the souls of trainers from regions all over the planet. Huh. A small group of bounty hunters. Okay. I'm good. Uh, I'm okay now. Uh huh. Yep. I'm glad you won, Anna. Congratulations. Some place called Pokestar Studios. Okay. Uh huh. What do you mean by that? Anyways, uh, back to V. Yeah. Um. So yeah, V is coming for us, I guess. Uh, so yeah, let's talk with Anna. Oh, hey, Risa. Um, how are you doing? Got back from the desert okay, I assume? Uh-huh. Yeah, no, she, Anna does not have any social media knowledge whatsoever. Uh-huh. And so Anna's going to be part of a movie now. Sure. Hey, Dylan, uh, yeah, no problem. Anna's filming a movie right now. Don't worry about it. Um, no, she's serious. Uh, Risa Raider showed up. Really, Dylan? Really? Right now? Right now? Sure, whatever, man. Uh huh. And I'm sorry, huh? Okay, let's get you home. Uh huh. Great. Yep, indeed she did. Okay, so we are now stuck here. We're gonna have to battle through and get out of here. Is Peony around? No? Okay. Del Caddy, we should be able to take you out. Ooh, T Wave. Hun tail, huh? I don't believe in myself enough. Do you have dry skin? You have dry skin, right? Yes, you do. Um, do I trust you to use dry dry skin? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, let's go with foul play. Oh, that's not enough. Oh no, that's not great. Okay. Uh. Are you physically? No. Uh, let's go to Cole then. 
Um, I'm gonna sword stance. Double bullet punch should be. Oh wow, that didn't KO. Saw's buck comes out. It's not crested, so yeah, okay. Um, hello there. So yeah, uh, a couple of a lot of people want us dead. There we go. Nice crit there. We'll just keep. Aw. Well, Moonblast shouldn't. Yeah. Aw, oh, come on. Okay, we should survive that. And if I don't get paralyzed, nice. Okay. Ooh, two cannon. Uh, oh, come on. Okay, I guess that's fine. Um. A little boo me here. I'm gonna flare blitz. Nice. Uh, okay. Out comes far fetched. I'm gonna flare blitz. Samurott comes out. Uh, not ideal. Undyne should be okay here though. So yeah. This is really good because these are all cutting moves and cutting moves are all boosted. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, that's fine. I didn't think that that would actually KO me. Arbok, huh? Uh... See if I can set up Tailwind. That's fine. Got one more turn, I think, in me. Yep, okay. Hopefully this is the last one, though, because otherwise I am screwed. Yep. Hey, you two. Let's get out of here. Uh-huh. Well, stay safe, you two. Peony and Patricia. Uh, party girl. And we're out. Crystalline Town. Dylan's hometown. Uh-huh. So if you exit, you'll notice that this is the guard house. The house of the Princess Royal Guard. The one that Odessa had a not great history with. Um, I'm sure Odessa will notice at some point that, uh, that the house has been occupied again, which is going to be interesting. Anyways, we'll just come in here. Your grandpa's house, uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's nothing, huh? Okay. Upstairs is off limits. Got it. 30k. Okay. Um... Hey, Odessa. Um, Dylan is here. Uh, that's probably not a name that uh, she wants to hear. Yeah, uh, the other girl is unfortunately not around. Mm hmm. Judge a competition. Uh-huh. Alright, sounds good. So we'll just look around, follow Anna around. Um, I believe Anna is currently... Uh... One second. Yeah, okay. Anna starts in the museum. Um, so we'll just head over there. I think. Yeah, there she is. Yep, that's a uh, Reshiram. Once or twice, we fought a Kawapadunga. Uh huh, yep. You got this, Anna. Lava cookies, huh? That sounds good. Um, that's right here, I believe. Yeah, uh...
So yeah, we can buy lava cookies too, but yep, some more lore. Uh, Dylan punched this old man's eye out. Huh, Dylan's not home yet. Mm hmm sure. So yeah, I believe uh, she's not going to be around here anymore. I oh, there she is. Uh-huh. Aquamarine cave. Yes, I do. It's, um... Yeah. Uh, so we'll just follow her over. Um, the easiest path, actually... Because we'll have to go to Aquamarine Depths, which is, like, underneath. Uh, easiest path, actually, is to go around here. Actually, whoops, sorry. Not here. Is to go down here, surf up here. And then uh, dive this way. Because this will take you back here. And you can just uh, come into back here. And we can find Dylan. How did you two find me? Uh, we talked to people. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah, we did. Uh, you were kind of brooding and uh, didn't really talk much. You just said hi and then just bailed out. Yep. No, no, no problem. Like, we barely met, man. We barely met. Yeah, uh, here's some cookies. Thank you. These look good. Well, you're welcome. Kailani. Uh-huh. So yeah, we stayed the night with them, I guess. Uh-huh. Sure. So we'll head over to Tila Resort. I probably should have just flown there. Oh, uh, there we go. So we can come over here and talk to Anna. She's somewhere around. There she is. Uh-huh. Is anyone strong enough to challenge the mighty Gio Giorno? Anyone at all? Uh, you shall be my challenger for the Tila Resort cook-off. Yep, and the uh, cook-off? Yeah, uh, well, good luck, Anna. It's okay. We'll we'll cook together. Uh huh. Yep. 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 <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Yeah. There's three judges. They have different tastes. Yep. It sounds good. So we can talk to people. Um. And uh, some of them will tell us the like, hints, like this girl right here. He likes to eat anything, sure. Except for healthier foods. Got it. So we want things that are not too healthy. Uh huh. Tesla and Amber are in East uh, are in Grand Dream City, so yeah. Um, savory but not bitter. So we don't want bitter foods. How about you, Princess Odessa? Loves sweet food. Uh huh. Savory and sweet, so we want basically anything that's not bitter and not too healthy. Um, but yeah, uh, you can talk. You c if you have enough info, you can say yes. And so you get to choose some. Um, now the best options. I'll, I'm gonna choose the best options that will get you the winning. Uh, the win. 
but you can play around. All the different options have pretty fun dialogue, uh, so you can play this a couple times, reload the save. Uh, but you want to go Fried Octillery, um, and then you want to go Ia Papa Shedder Parm, and Petra Berry Sunday are the three that you want. With that being done, you can talk to G Gigiorno and go. Uh huh, yep. Gigiorno. Hello, hello everyone, hi. Three rounds, objective simple, score more points, okay. Cook. So you get to see uh, some fun animations here. I like it. Uh huh. Four out of five for the Krabian. Uh, four out of five. Three out of five. Two out of five. So Rorim's here. Ten out of fifteen. Not bad. Okay. Fried Octillery. Thank you. Thank you. 5 out of 5. Thank you. Alright. I'm in the lead. Woo. And some more cooking animation. So yeah, they have different things to say for the different foods. So it is it is fun to just read all the different uh, opinions. Um, especially for the ones that are the worst. Uh, those are fun. Uh-huh. Wow, Gigiorno. Oh. Gigiorno with a 14 out of 15. Nice. We take 5 out of 5. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Thank you, Odessa. Whoa, we're in the lead again. And time for cooking the dessert. That's it. Time's up. Uh-huh. Creme brulee was delicious. Uh-huh. 5 out of 5 for Gigi Orno. 14 out of 15. So for us, we get 5 out of 5. 5 out of 5. And 5 out of 5. And so that means we won. Yeah, we won. And we got a trophy, which doesn't... Very close win. So yeah, we get a trophy, but not much else. Um, What do you do anything? Oh yeah, you give a... Uh, yeah, that thing, right. Um, So we'll head back to here and uh, talk to Dylan, but when we come in... Hey, Dylan. He's not here either, huh? So yeah, uh, Dylan is currently missing. And yeah, we all we can do now is wait. Uh, there is no other option here. The quest is done for the moment. Uh, so that is it. We have uh, completed the, all the side quests we can do in terms of before going on with the main story. So next time we'll head back to uh, Rodia's apartment, talk to Melia, and then head to Sashila and continue the main story. So that'll be it for me. Thank you for watching this relatively long backtracking side questing episode. And I will see you all next time.